Okay, let's not do that again. Um, hello guys, welcome back to American Truck Simulator with me, Brad M73. Uh, here for a late night live stream. It is late night Sunday, February 17th, 2019, and we are just getting started. What is up, money? 93577 in the chat room on YouTube. Wait. <coughs> James Giddings, hello from Michigan. And let's see, we gotta sign in because I gotta remember what I was contemplating on burping there, but I don't think I'm going to. Oh, uh, see, new screenshots available for upload. Where are we? Anthony Moser, hello. Or Mosier. Tanner Myers, hello, hello. <gasps> see some gray on there oh we're in vegas that is right that is right yes um trying to see where i can <clears throat> so we're at the volvo dealer dealer i think in vegas so let's go ahead and just head on out of here and we're gonna do some we're gonna basically get the rest of the map discovery here in Vegas and then we will once we do that we'll go ahead and pick up a new job old me hello was I really top chatter in the last stream or did I just hear it um, no money you are you were the uh, top chatter you are still the top chatter I'm not sure if it's if that means like you're the top chatter of all time or like for the last week i don't know it doesn't really say so it may not really be all that impressive but then again it might <laughs> anthony mosier says your videos are addictive Ooh, uh, well thank you i appreciate that i'm glad they're i'm glad they're addictive and not like you know super terrible of course i already know they're super terrible so no, oh, I made a good cup of coffee tonight. And I apologize for not actually being on earlier tonight. Um, basically, I had a terrible headache today. And I was wanting to come on and play some Euro Truck or American Truck. And it just wasn't happening, guys. My head was like, every time I would stand up, my head was splitting. Um, it was, I was kind of feeling nauseated even. Oh, wait. Okay, so now that we have this discovery, let's go ahead and turn around. Yeah, and so I, um, I ate something and then in, in, like took a nap and then I woke back up oh right about an hour ago and then I decided to eat some more and so now I'm feeling better and I'm like I'm gonna get on and I'm gonna live stream tonight because that's what I that's what I want to do do I like Freightliner trucks I don't dislike them Kayvon Eastwood says, hey, Brad, call me Kavo or Quavo. Is it is it kind of like the hard K sound or is it like the Qua sound? <laughs> I don't know. I am just guessing here. I do not know. Uh, if you got some mods... Um, not sure if I'm going to uh, get into American Truck Sim mods, but I guess it would depend on the mod. Oh my gosh, we don't have turn signals here. Uh, 
Though that guy's being super nice and letting me go. We should thank him. We'll send him a we'll send him a postcard. Hard K. Quavo. Or Cavo. Cavo? Cavon? Cavon, yeah. All right, so we are kind of going into, like, the main casino district here. I'm not sure what that one is. I think this over here, <clears throat> Canal, or Canal, Canal, Canal. That looks like Caesar Caesar's Palace, if I had to guess. I, f I forget all the casino names, though. The Brown Bell? Oh, there's Caesar's Palace down there. What is that one? The Mirage, maybe? No, the Mirage is out on the... Uh, yeah, I forget all the... The names. The Las Vegas Hilton is actually down this way. And I... Highly doubt, and I would be absolutely shocked if that was on here. But it would kind of be like off in this direction, I think, if I if I remember correctly. I remember having to walk it because my buddy was way too cheap to hire a, a taxi. <laughs> That was not fun. Hey Brad, Dave here, go duel. Wait, who am I supposed to duel? I don't know. Oh, this is gonna end perfect, kind of. Will I be trying trailers tonight? Possibly? I'm still incredibly disappointed that they don't have like the, the really big like wide load, you know, or big heavy load or whatever trailers. Say K. Okay, K. K, Ka? Ka! No, I think, he's, I think it's K. Q-A. K. Venvo. Kvo. Ah, oh, okay. I got it. So again, like what I'm doing here is we're just going around town, trying to get the map discovery up. Uh-oh. We got a copper.
Let's see, where are we? <clears throat> okay, so I got it. Basically, we're gonna make a right out of here. Um, and then I think we'll probably take a left and figure out what, like where we pull into this 42 print place. Oh shoot, we just drove past there. I didn't know I needed that. Um, once we do that, we'll figure something out here. Maybe I'll just make a right here and then kind of go around like this and then go to the 42 print. Uh, next, we'll head down here, we'll get this, and then we're gonna close that out by getting this over here. And then I feel like I should probably go down here and do all this. And we're getting really close to 60%, so that's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, you know what I can do? We'll just make a left turn, come out of here. Right, or, yeah, we'll make a left turn, then a right turn into 42 print, and then we'll just come back out and then continue on my previous path. Um, what's my driving setup? My driving setup is my Xbox 360 controller. Uh-oh. So we'll make a left turn here, and then a right, then left, left, left. You can have mods more than the, dem the demo. Uh, ATS is well worth the money, yes. Oh, and do you have, um, do you have a uh, Euro Truck Simulator? I thought Owen had Euro Truck Simulator. Um, let's see. Yeah, I do use my controller for farming simulator for some tasks, but not all. Do any of you guys play FS17? Oh, gosh. On Xbox. Um, no, I don't. Because <laughs> I don't have an Xbox. If I buy any of the trailers, be sure to buy the reefer as it offers the most cargo options. Yeah, I think that's um, that's what a lot of people have been telling me. Like, get the reefer, get the reefer. So I guess I will buy a reefer trailer. The only bad thing about Vegas is the speed limit is so slow all over town.
Okay, so we're going to come up here. Not this street, but the next one. Phew. <clears throat> For a second there, I thought we were going to end up in a car accident. And then we're going to go up... Oh, no. Well, wait. Can we make a left here? <gasps> we can't. Very interesting. Okay. We got a couple plates. Oh, no. I think I'm going to have... Yeah, let's back up into here. It's probably like somebody's yard. It's really weird. Like, out west, you know, people don't have grass in their front yards. They have, like, rocks. Like, pebbles. It's <laughs> I was like, what in the world is going on here? I don't know if I would like that or not. I'm too used to, you know, having... Gra hey, there's the Luxor. Ooh, they actually have the Luxor name on there, too. Interesting. I wonder if they got permission. Does anyone know how to do a live stream on an Xbox One? As far as I know, you have to get an Elgato, and you have to have a PC in order to be able to stream it. Though, if it's possible to... Oh, Mandala Bay. There's the Mandalay Bay. Um, I don't know if there's a way to live stream direct from a console or not. I have no idea. Do, 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 do. You uh, see, money says you can stream from a PS4, but can you have like overlays and stuff? I know you can do that stuff where it's like streaming for friends, but like, can you actually stream to YouTube? Like, can you put in a stream key and stream to YouTube or Twitch and then have overlays and stuff? That I don't know about. Okay, so we've got Vegas done. Um, let's let's go look at this reefer trailer business. So we got got to go to the trailer dealer, which is right there, and then there's sliding tarp reefer. And I guess, let's see, we got a San Diego garage and a Medford garage. <clears throat> okay, so it's there. You can now access it from the trailers manager, all right? Uh-oh.
So we actually have to go all the way to San Diego to pick that darn thing up? Are you kidding me? So how do I actually use it for the contract? Oh. Okay. I forgot to customize it. Oh, great. So I think I want to go down here though. Let's go down to Prim really quick before we head off into wherever we go to get this trailer. Brandon Waldron, Waldron, hello. Scott Crone, hello. Fast travel from the garage manager. All right. Well, let's go down and get Prim, and then we'll do that, maybe. <laughs> yeah, but I can only fast travel to my garages, which sucks. Okay, so we're not too far away from it. Leaving Las Vegas. Okay, coming up on Prim here. Anthony is freezing in Iowa tonight. I'm freezing in Ohio tonight. Let's see, the garage in San Diego is where your trailer is sitting. Yes, I know. I'm just going to Prim for the map discovery stuff. Oh my gosh. I think it's probably better that we just back down the ramp here.
Oh, we've only got a half <coughs> a half a tank of gas. How did that happen? All right, so we're just gonna drive back here to this Chemco place, whatever it's called, uh, and then we'll turn around, head back into Prim. Extra mirrors don't work. Really? Do you know how to solve that? No. Um, I'd have to put extra mirrors on my truck and find out. You know, experiment with it. What? Why is like the speed limit thirty miles an hour like everywhere around here? Oh no! No, stay there. The guy's stopping. He's like, screw this guy. He crazy. A little bit further and... Oh, no. A lot further. Oh, gosh. Oh, I just took out a sign. That's all right. Hey, Brad. Can I play some ATS with you? Yeah. No. <laughs> Am I in this damn chat again? Hi, everybody. I'm Savvy. This is Savvy Alloy. I guess you're going to be my, my co-pilot for tonight then, huh? Could be. I better, I better drop out of here before everybody starts coming in. <laughs> oh, you just started? Where is he? No, I've been going for about a half hour. Cool. I'm going to drop down, though. Yep. Whoops. Yeah, that's Savvy Alloy. All right, so we're going to break the law again. We're going to go, ooh, right behind a trooper. Oh, there's an amusement park out here. That's pretty cute. Poor Savvy probably didn't even know I was streaming. Of course, it was my fault for, like, getting, <laughs> like, staying on my Discord. Oh, wait, can I just go up here and turn around? That would be much easier. <gasps> Poop snakes! Oh, that was totally his fault. Did you see that, trooper? This guy ran into me. I'm telling my mom. Samuel, hello. Let's see here. Uh, okay, so here's a repair shop. I guess we now have to go in and get repaired, so let's just go ahead and do that while we're here. And then we'll go finally pick up our trailer. 
Okay, that was like the worst. My worst rendition of the America or yeah, American Truck Simulator song. Why are you not playing farming? Because I want to play something else. Uh, Philip Hummel. Hey, Philip, how you doing tonight? Okay. All right, so let's take a quick look here. I'm going to go way down to San Diego. Wait, how do I do the quick travel? I don't even, it's been, it's been so long. Is it under... I think it's under garage manager. Upgrade. Let's see how much. <laughs> I did. Upgrade. Oh, it's only 200,000 to up upgrade. Achievement get final makeover. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, there we go. Um... So let's see. So now, oh, average daily profit, a little over halfway to $300,000. Nice. Oh, so that's the last seven days. So every day is like 23000 I guess that's not too bad. I guess I won't complain too much. And it's dark. Okay, so now... Okay, there's fuel. I'm going to guess that I have to drive up here and get the trailer, maybe. Maybe not. Man, I want to manage the garage. Emma's using the reefer trailer. Uh, are you... Okay, so I have to... Oh my God. So we have to wait for Emma, apparently, to get done with the reefer trailer. I don't know about this, guys. This reefer trailer business is... Turning into a nightmare. Buy another trailer. Yeah, because with all the money that I have. Wait a second, though. I do kind of have an idea. We need to kind of drive up here and do some of the map discovery up around and up in here. So I'm kind of thinking of doing that. Uh, let's see. How do I get out of here? Okay. So we'll just wait for Emma Watson to get done. Make it private so they... I guess I'll have to make it private once she's done with it. 
Because I don't, I don't want to lose out on her, on the profits that she's going to get. Let's, actually, let's just pull up here and sleep. And of course, I'm not going to be able to do it there. All right. Georgia. Loan installment. And come on, Emma Watson. <gasps> So is she like coming back? I'm guessing, I don't know what that means, but. I don't know what all these. I don't know what all these symbols mean. All right, let's. Yeah, let's go to Trailer Manager. No, trailer Manager, yes. Zero, <clears throat> okay, make private. Oh, it's still on the, um, still six hours out. Chill vibes. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Dion, hey, what's going on? All right, so we're gonna head north. Okay, so we can do 59, bam, right there. And I think we have to go up north of Carlsbad to get some of those extra little map points. Ah, copper. Okay, yeah, I see him now. Now the next thing I need to decide is whether I want to go like up here. I just don't know. Well, I, I, I need to go and do this. So let's go do this. We'll come down and then drive back down to Carlsbad. And then maybe Carl's been good by then. We don't know. You know RGN loads pay... What, do, what is an RGN load? I don't know what an RGN load is.
What do we get? <laughs> 59.54%. All right. Removable gooseneck. Okay. I always knew there was something fishy with you and geese. Now we know. Guess, guess who gets to go down the uh, on-ramp? This guy. Oh, gosh, there's not much room either. Okay, there we go. Oh gosh, oh my. I wish that we'd make like the the ramp intersections all one discoverable item, kinda like they used to do. Especially like back in Euro Truck Sim. Now it's just freaking annoying to get all, like every little bit. Okay, hotel coming up. See, like that. This one's like fully discoverable. All right, come on now, go. All right, so now what I need to do, yeah, we're gonna go up, we're gonna just kind of do a loop around and then go up here. And we've pretty much gotten everything in Los Angeles. Up, oh, there's, I spoke too soon. A couple places there, so we'll go get those.
Come on now. Oh, they are literally going 30 miles an hour. Wait, what? Is that a river over there? What in the world is that thing? There's just like scaffolding set up for no reason. Oh my gosh, I got lucky there. That was a cop car. Ooh, can I drive back there? None back there. Ooh, we got a cop behind us too. Edward Halverson, welcome, welcome. How you doing? Doing all right tonight? Gonna make a right turn into Gallon. Is this work gonna work are we gonna get okay we get all the discovery for the gas station and the corner not gonna complain there it will be nice they made this game for ps4 uh, it'd be nice but they're not gonna so it's time to join the PC master race Rolling stop. Okay, so now we're gonna have to go up here and then we'll make a left, all right. <clears throat> yeah. Um, am I on multiplayer? No, I'm not. Dylan Miniker, how's it going? Breaking the law, breaking the law. I'm gonna have to slam on the brakes as soon as I see a cop. Oh man. You're kind of in a bad mood because you, you have laryngitis. Wait. 
Yeah, I guess that would kind of. I don't know that it would that that would necessarily put me in a bad mood, but I would not be happy for ha having laryngitis. Well, I hope you're feeling better soon, Dylan, because being sick never is fun. I think it's this first light. I think it's the next one. This thing is going to turn by the time we get there, I bet. Well, I should have stopped. But that's how this game gyps you. <laughs> Okay, so we gotta head up this way. Uh oh. Oh, sure. there. Oh, here comes the garage from GTA 5. Actually, it's a real garage out in Los Angeles. Left turn. Okay. Whoop, no, we gotta back up. Wait, is that guy spray painting? Oh, he's cleaning it off. I was, I was going to say, why is he in like a worker's uniform? All right, continuing on.
Do, do, do. Okay, so now we'll go to... What's this place? Sell goods? All right, so we're going to make a left. All right, so there we go. Let's go. Let's see here. Trailer manager. Current user, Emma. All right. Make public, configure. All right, so now hopefully guys behave in the chat <laughs> all right so trailer manager current user brad's game thirteen percent utilization wait a second is it on the back there no Okay, so there's all kinds of trailer upgrades. All right. Trailer. So how do I actually go to like connect it to my truck? Eh? Drive out to the left. All right. Gosh, this, this trailer business is like the biggest pain in the butt. Like I'm almost, I'm almost regretting buying the darn thing. <laughs> oh, is this it over here? Oh, there it is. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> okay, so now that I have it connected up, I think, how do I get jobs with it? Do I just go to like a garage that has jobs and it'll use that trailer? Uh-oh, we f didn't go that way. <gasps> Maybe it's the cargo market?
Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. We got to go to the worst. The worst track up there. Let's see. Coos Bay. Albuquerque. Burns, Oregon. Oh, it burns. Grand the Canyon. I kind of want to do the Newport org or yeah, San Diego. I guess we'll do this one. So we'll set that as the the Guppus destination. Okay. Now the next question is, can you customize your trailer with a load in it? Well, thank you, Money. Thanks for the help there. Now I've finally got my darn trailer. Hey, John Stanley, how you doing? All right, one mile away. So I guess it's just up here. That seems to me to be more than a mile, but... Oh, there's a truck place right here. So let's go over and... Um, customize our trailer, I guess. I don't know. I kind of want my trailer trailer to look like my truck, because that would be that would be ideal coolness factor wise. Ice cream man, ice cream. Oh. Gosh darn it, now I want an ice cream. I want like a rocket pop or whatever those things were called. <laughs> Basically, frozen flavored water that people could charge a dollar for. Oh no, it's a Peterbilt. Who is Peter and why did he build it? Uh, 
All right, so trailer configurator. Uh, paint job. <gasps> no! Um, oh man. My color's something like that, but I just... Oh, that really sucks that they don't have that many paint schemes. Now, what does it matter, like... Ooh, steerable. So does the steerable trailer, does it automatically steer, like, around corners and stuff? That sounds kind of cool. Well, let's see. Let's see. Yes. No! Wait, can you undo? I guess just like that. All right. So, let's see here. So, use priest... What the crap? How do you undo? Is there is there seriously no way to undo other than backing out like this? So if I do this, wait a sec. Okay, keep that as preset. So, so use preset. No, that's not what I want. So then I'll do this. Keep that as preset. And then we're going to go here and use that preset. There we go. All right, so now we'll go to the trailer configurator. And apparently, there's no trim color, so I can't like click on the cooler. That kind of stinks. Okay, what's this? Accessories. Choose a pin on the truck. Oh, okay. Accessories. The Turbo King. Oh, the Turbo King. Sorry. Um. Not sure which one of these is the way to go, but put that on there. Okay, we got more lights. Ooh, what's this? Eh. So I guess that's probably more aerodynamic. Okay. And then the tires, I'm not really sure. My, I'm going to have to do this for both sides too, which sucks the big one.
Ooh. Let's see, roll up door with a lift gate. I wonder, do you, see, installing this item may revert some connected parts. What the heck is that? Standard door wind deflector. What? I've never seen a truck like that in my entire life. That is weird. Um, standard door. The chrome door almost looks kind of lame. Yeah, I think the other preset is the way to go. Okay, so it changed the, the tires correctly. So that's good. Did not change this, which is weird. All right. I'm just not sure. Okay, what about this? Okay, we're gonna put the mud flaps on there. I guess I'm just gonna go to, ooh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm feeling it. All right, so now, let's see, insulated. Okay, reefer, drive in. Insulated and reefer, all right. Oh crap, and a handbag. And then chain tie, oh no. Single, please. All right, jeez, it still cost us a pretty penny. All right, so that's finally done. What just happened? What the crap? The game just crashed. Um, my, <laughs> like I'm, t I'm not joking. Why does this, this game like still crashes from time to time? Um. I guess, I guess I built a trailer that was too cool. America Truck Simulator, America. I guess the trailer was just cool, too cool. So where am I? I'm going to be really mad if I have to do all that over again. Where the heck am I? Oh man, I got to do all that over again. Fart nuggets. Ugh. CYH5, hey, how you doing? That was weird. I don't know why it did that. Um, Microsoft Unusual Account Activity. <laughs> Apparently somebody from India is either logging into or trying to log into my Microsoft account. Ugh. <sighs> This is like a really weird email, though. Like, I almost think that this email is a scam. Review recent activity. 
And it goes to loginlive.com. Hmm. Live.com is Microsoft's, you know, web page. Oh my gosh, I gotta go through all this again. I bet it didn't even save my preset colors. It's a SCSN. What is an SCSN? No, like when it says review recent activity. Ah. It actually goes to the account.microsoft.com website. So it looks legit. Whoa. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to sign in, but... It's like the second <clears throat> second one of those I've gotten in the like the last month. I mean, I literally don't use my Microsoft account for anything other than backing up all those pictures of my hairy butt. <laughs> totally joking. All right, so bam, keep his preset. Bam, keep his preset. Bam. No. Crap. Use preset. Bam. Bam. Keep his preset. There we go. Confirm. Alright. So. Should I get the steerable trailer? Is that the one I want to get? There we go. Wait, what's this mean? Nuts. Wait, you can actually change the nuts? Long load. All right, confirm order. I'm afraid. Well, there's our trailer. All right, I think we're I think we made it this time. John C. Pepper says, "Sorry, I'm late. I was playing this. It's a phishing scam. It looks legit. It's not." <clears throat> All right. Well, I won't log into it. Well, I'm definitely not going to log into it, but... It's weird that the... I mean, the actual link on the website takes you to a legit Microsoft website. That's why I'm kind of like, maybe it's not a scam. Maybe it is legit.
Shart. Ah, oh, there we go. Thank gosh the same job is still there. I would have been mad. I would have been so mad, you guys. Richard? No, no, I, I'm not a, like, when it comes to, like, this kind of stuff, I'm not, I'm definitely not stupid. Um, when you click, when the link is clicked, and I use, like, a, like, a private browser, it actually goes to account.microsoft.com. It's not like, you know, which is a legitimate Microsoft website. And it is a you know, I've confirmed the link and everything. It's not, I mean, you can't really spoof a link on the, on your browser as far as I'm aware. Oh no. Cargo market. Oh, I'll take your job. I'm going to take it. Cargo is ready to load. Oh, oh, so we actually have to load it. Mm. All Microsoft online accounts are live.com. Yeah, so if I go to, let's see here, let's, I'm just gonna copy the link and then I'm just gonna paste it into like Notepad. And, and now I'm on my Mac too, so I'm not on my PC. No, I don't wanna go to Notepad. Let's go to text edit. and paste wait a second here yeah it takes me to login.live.com which is microsoft's i mean that is login.live.com is a legitimate um thing wait do i actually have to okay hit e press the following key to look okay enter Ooh, they're loading. Okay. I guess we are all loaded up. So yeah, login.live.com. So it looks like it's legitimate. And did I just lose my darn... Oh, there it is. D 
Did you get the picture I sent on Facebook Messenger? Which picture was it? I mean, if, if you just sent it to me like in the last hour or something, I probably haven't gotten it. Okay, wait a second. No, I'm going to make a ride out of here so we can just go straight up. The only thing about this reefer trailer is it's long. Twenty digit password change it every week. Yeah. <laughs> no, that ain't happening. Come on now. Opening yourself to identity theft? Nah, I'm not. There's there's nothing on my Microsoft account that's going to expose me in any way to identity theft. No billing information or anything like that, so I'm not worried about it. Trust me, I've been built, you know, building computers for almost 30 years and doing this kind of stuff, so I'm not. Uh, and I, I haven't. You know what's really funny is I haven't changed my my original email password is so good that I have not changed it in like 20 years, and my account's never been compromised. Holy crap, this is 1,100 miles? Oh, great. This is gonna take forever. Well, let's see. If it's gonna take that long, we have to go all the way. Well, I was just thinking maybe we would go all the way up the coast. Uh, I just don't know now, because that will take for freaking ever. Oh, this is going to suck the big one. Suck in the big one. Ah, uh, we'll see. My name and address is enough. I'm pretty sure that I don't have an address associated with my Microsoft account. Yeah, the only reason I even have a live.com account is because when Windows, I think it was Windows 10, it might have been Windows 8.1, but I think it was when I upgraded the Windows 10, like they require you to make a, a Windows Live account in order to log into your freaking Windows every time. So I haven't opened it myself up for 
anything. It's Microsoft opening me up to that crap. They always have to overcomplicate things. chat room here something was weird uh, you changed your Yahoo password to a bad word now you I can't log in um, well that shouldn't make a difference you can you can make your password whatever you want Oh my gosh, my other screen is so bright. There we go. Nope. Now it's too dark dim. There we go. Good to see you streaming this again. Um, yeah, I'm pretty... I'm thinking maybe twice a week. Like once, maybe like Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday-ish, and then one... Saturday, Sunday-ish. Why am I going so fast? Any road trip stories to tell? Um, um, I'm thinking here. Still thinking. Try not to hurt myself here. Uh oh, what's going on? I don't really have like, I mean, there's like the one grand road trip that I took like all over the country. Um, you know, and then aside from driving down to Florida, you know, a few times with the dog, nothing really excited happened on any of those trips, except one night, I can't remember if I was on my way down or on my way back. I think I was on my way back when um, the news broke that they killed Osama bin Laden. And I, I walked into the, I, they're like, you know, I was just listening to talk radio or Art Bell or whatever the heck I was listening to. Well, Art Bell, not, it wouldn't have been Art Bell, probably like George Norrie or something. I don't, it seemed like it was late at night, like it was around 11 or 11.30 at night. And I was down in Kentucky. I think I was actually on my way down to Florida. No, I had to have been on the way back. I just can't remember. I just it seemed like, it, I, I don't know. It's just, it's a complete blur now. And, um... I walked into the gas station and I'm like, they just said on the news they killed Osama bin Laden. 
And like the everybody in the gas station was like, Yeehaw! Well, not literally yeehaw, but everybody was like, Yahoo! Everybody started clapping. When I say everybody, there were like four or five people in there. So it wasn't like a big, you know. Let's see. Yahoo is junk. Yeah, Yahoo used to be pretty good. Now they're kind of, yeah. If you don't change your Microsoft password, I'm unsubscribing. Well, I'm not going to do it like while I'm on the on here with you guys. <clears throat> I guess I'm now going to have to enable two-factor authentication. Nine hundred and sixty-three miles. Well, at least we're below a thousand. So I'm gonna kind of be looking to see here where or if see like I feel like getting off there just so I can get this on ramp yeah I think that's a good idea even if you people probably don't uh, Osama should have been arrested and charged the normal way. Killing him was a mistake. Eh. I don't think the guys had a choice. Not that I'm, not that I disagree with you, but, um, you know, we don't really know for sure. Well, Apparently, there was that photo that came out, I don't know, a couple years back that was supposedly, like, dead Osama bin Laden. Um, it's, we don't really know if it's real, because supposedly no pictures were taken. But who knows? He could be rotting away in, in a jail that no one's ever heard about. No one ever will. I know he killed thousands, but we are better than that. Nah. There are, there are definitely times when, you know, the death penalty is, is definitely the best. Now, now there's there's probably a bunch of religious reasons, you know, making him a martyr wasn't probably the best thing in the world, but I'm definitely not opposed to the death penalty. Not at all. Steep grades. Yeah, they, they supposedly took, um, like, a blood sample, pictures, and, um, yeah, fingerprints and stuff. remember some other I like I just don't it seems like I've always or already told like oh no all my really good uh, road trip stories fairly recently as well <laughs>
Okay, I think we're coming up on that rest area. I swear I just now realized that the sun is up in the game. I'm like, when did the sun come up? I, s I wish we could opt to just take like a short rest break, you know, like maybe four hours or something instead of like eight or ten hours or nine hours or whatever this game makes you take. All right, so I'm going to just get off here. We're not going to actually rest. I'm just going to use this as a turnaround. <gasps> Crap in a handbag. Well, nobody's going to be coming from the left. If I'm going to be able to back down now. Bag on it. I guess I could back down. Go back up. Hurry. Nope. Let's just get keep on moving. Uh, let's see, I just sent you a picture of my chili. Um, I actually made homemade noodles today for the first time. Homemade egg noodles. Um, they actually turned out pretty good. Um, I may, probably maybe later in the week, I might make another batch of them and um, see if I can improve on my recipe because I think I screwed it up just a little bit but they were actually super easy to make you just take two cups of flour all-purpose flour um, a teaspoon of salt Put it in a, like a Cuisinart food processor, you know, um, mix the uh, flour and the salt together, just pulse it a couple times, and then put three eggs in there and turn it on, and you're good to go. Please pull in a... Okay, if that isn't the most annoying sound in the known universe...
All right, so we're back on the road again. We're sitting back on the commode again. Do I like American Truck Sim or Euro Truck Sim? I actually like them both. I haven't played American Truck Sim in a or Euro Truck Sim in a long time though. Okay. Oh, let's just stay on here since we got all the discovery. I was just gonna pull in there for the discovery, and I was like. Nope, never mind. Excuse me. Okay, now I think we might have a pull-off that we're going to need to take here. Um, ooh, I almost feel like going up through here and then coming around like this. And then, yeah, let's do that. Just to get the extra... We got plenty of time to do this. Can I see outside of the truck? Um, yep. And there you go. Oh wow, look at all this out here. Oh man, I can't. Wozers. Bye. Oh, it's like constant crane pass shot. All right, getting sick of that. <laughs> uh, how do you say it? Data or data? Depends. Uh, generally data is the correct pronunciation. I used to actually work for a company that had the word data in it, and the owner of the company said data he's like nope it's data i'm like uh okay <laughs> i think that i think that's why i was i eventually was asked to leave that job and i for some reason i think the fact that i said data annoyed one of the one of the owners or one of the management people But that was many moons ago. And I got a much better paying job after that, so I'm not I can't complain. Let's see, uh oh oh. Ooh, oh ooh. Guys, we're like taking like big old detour here. Say out loud to these people to try this game. Say Colt no said it. What? What game? <laughs> I 
I bet he wants me to say Fortnite. He's gonna be like, no, not that game. I'll be like, hi, hi, yes, you wanted me to say Fortnite. Okay, I am just driving all over poop snakes now. Okay, so we gotta see what this um, drop off or I don't not drop off, but whatever this area is up here. I just got the hammer down as hard as I can go. too fast. Oh, we're going fast here. Oh, we're going fast. Okay, so up here... Oh, gosh, cop. Uh, again, I'm just doing all this for the map discovery. Um, okay. Yeah, we'll just go up, loop around, head back. Okay. Not even worrying about stop signs. We're just breaking the law. I wonder. Oh, 60%. We hit 60%. Uh, what beans do you use, John? I only use kidney beans. I just can't. Well, there's the there's the light kidney beans and the dark kidney beans, and I like the dark ones in chili. Okay, and it's not so much that they taste different, which they really don't. It's just that light beans in my chili kind of freak me out. Okay. How now, brown cow? Okay. So we're going to drive up here. I think we need to make a right and then a left.
dang it, whenever you get to go in a good speed, the game always throws in a police car. Do I play GTA 5? Um, I haven't played it in quite a while, probably since, probably since like last spring sometime. I might have played in the summer for a week or so when there was a special going on, but um, you know, I kind of go through phases where I enjoy playing it, um, but I I kind of feel like I've played it out, you know. And the, the content that they're adding is just stupid. Like, I want them to add more heists, because the heists are awesome. You know, that's what they really need to work on, is the heists. You know, if they came out with, like, a new, like, four-mission heist, like, every three months or something, I would be all, I'd be there like a brown bear. Whatever that means. I don't even know what that means. They have RC cars now. Ooh, can I pull into Walbert? I guess that I can. All right. Well, that, um, see, the RC cars cost millions, don't they? That's silly. <laughs> they, apparently they have RC cars in GTA 5 now, and they cost millions of dollars or something. I think you're right, because I saw somebody in, like, one of the Facebook GTA ads complain about it. Like, even the most expensive radio control car is, you know, just a couple, you know, few, maybe a few thousand dollars for like a really, like a, like a one quarter scale. Do they still race quarter scale RC cars? I remember they used to ra race, I'm pretty sure they were. It was either quarter scale or one sixth scale, but these cars were huge. Like a kid, like a little kid could fit in them. And they used to have like sprint cars. Now this is going whoa, hello there. This is going way back, but we used to have, there was a, like a shopping mall that didn't really do too well and then and i guess what like in order to you know maybe try to make a little bit more money they turned the set or they well there was like a radio control car group turned a section of their parking lot into um like a street racing track so they basically built like this big oval for asphalt sprint racers um and then they also built a like kind of as part of the oval but like on the inside they could change the barriers and then they had like a bunch of turns on the inside of the track and so they had like indie car like you know quarters i guess they were quarter scale or one six scale like i said they were huge because i used to race um one tenth and one uh one twelfth scale uh i used to race one tenth scale off-road and one twelfth scale carpet track racing and um Man, those are some of the best days. I remember there was like this big, 
this big kind of chubby dude with a beard. He kind of looked like Savvy Alloy a little bit. No, I'm just kidding. He did have a beard, though. And he thought he was like the big bad at the dirt track, you know, race course. And, um, and so I went up there one time to actually get into the race. I th- it was like $20 or something to enter. And, and I, and he was racing, let's see, I was racing a, an R, a team associated, team associated RC 10. And he was racing, I think, a um, was it Kyoto, Kyoto? Uh, an Altima back and again this is like back in the mid 80s and so throughout the night you went through these different heat races where you know it was like the first heat you'd go up and then like the top two people from that race got to move up to a new heat bracket and and we they called them heat races so that's that's how I'm going to refer to them. So, you know, you go up there and you're, you know, the, f- the first time I ever raced when I actually had to put money down and I knew that if I lost, it was basically 20 bucks down the toilet. Um, actually, I think they gave you like a consolation race. Um, and then the winner, the, the top winner of the consolation race got to go to the, the next bracket as well. But, um, So I got up to like the last two brackets and, and this guy was like the only one I was worried about. And I just, I ended up driving better than him. I had better lines. Um, and I, and I beat him and he came over and he shook my hand and he's like, it was a good race. And, uh, and then the, the, the very last race was like a freaking cakewalk and I won it and I won a few hundred bucks. I think I won like a hundred, hundred or hundred and fifty dollars. I won like a. It seemed like I won like a couple battery packs, a gift card, and I'm trying to remember all the stuff I won. And then I was addicted. I'm like, I'm. I was like looking at my dad. I was like, oh yeah. Of course, my dad basically he just probably sat out in the van and listened to the radio and went to sleep. (laughs) I mean, he enjoyed that. I enjoyed it, but you know, he wasn't about to sit in there for like, you know, hours watching little cars go around a track. I think I, I think the other thing I won was like a, an end, like some kind of a engine, like a motor electric motor for my car. Ah, those were the days. I googled a video and apparently one costs 1,500,000. Jeez. Uh, Colton says, well, I'm gone. See ya. Take care, Colton. Thanks for coming by. Amber Richardson. Hey, Amber, how are you doing today or tonight? It's tonight here. Highway junkie. Hello, hello. We're just going to have to push through the sleepiness here. Oh, we're going through Oakland. Let's, Let's look at the map and see. Let's look and see. Oh, there's Holbrook. That's where the game used to end, right there. Um, let's see here. I think after we go through Sacramento, I think I should get off here and do this map discovery. So let's do that.
Wait, where did I get 1% damage on my trailer? Oh, no load damage, though. Okay, good. I was about ready to... I was ready to about have a cow. I just got finished with the service call. Dual audio on Bluetooth is weird. LOL! <laughs> I'm a mobile diesel mechanic for Pappy's Machinery. Oh, what did you have to fix? Let me guess, something diesel. <laughs> oh no, oh gosh, 40 miles an hour. Oh man, I guess we'll just go straight here then. Um, how long do I plan on streaming? I don't really plan. We'll probably go, you know, till the end of this job. I don't know. Let's see, what time is it? Gosh, it's 1.30 already. A big quarry loader. Nice. What was wrong with it? <sighs> Dag on it. It's like two in the, 3 in the afternoon, and my dude is, like, all tired. Let's see. <clears throat> 57 minutes till my next rest stop. We're going to have to push beyond that for sure. As far as I can because I don't like driving at night. It's not so much that I don't like it. It's just that I feel bad that you guys have to basically watch a black screen, practically. All right, so we're coming up on the turn. Ooh. Emma Watson brought in $2,500. Thank you, Emma Watson. Starting to fade. Please don't punch me in the Sacramento. got to go past that big crazy interchange thing 
burnt a sensor shut down and threw and threw a cracked the block wait burnt a sensor shut down and cracked the block whoa yeah that wouldn't be good So did you just have to tow it somewhere? <laughs> great, great singing voice. Why, thank you, money. <sighs> Hundreds of thousands of children worldwide think you're wrong. <laughs> okay, we're coming up on the off ramp. It's going to be right up here. Yep. This is going to be great. We're going to be behind two trucks. Or not. That guy's getting back on the highway. Maybe this one will too. Oh, uh, yeah, he is. Wait a second. Oh, that's a... Oh, there, there's a rest area there. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I guess we're going to have to pull off there to sleep. The question, though, is can we make it without careening off the side of the road and killing ourselves? The beast. Hey, beast. The crop dusters are out in, in force today. What are you up to? We are um, trying to deliver a load here in America and Truck Simulator and taking some detours um, in order to get some of the some additional map discovery. First time making it to the stream. Yeah, we're streaming pretty late tonight. Um, I'm really hoping that when I get done here, I'll be able to uh, get to sleep pretty quickly. I had like the most whopping headache today. I kind of feel like it's coming back a little bit, 
but it's nowhere near as bad as it was earlier today. And I'm talking, it was horrible. And, um, and so actually I kind of took a nap this evening after, you know, getting something to eat and I woke up and I felt way better. So hopefully tonight I'll be able to sleep better. I don't know. We'll see. Do I drive classic semis? Um, in the game, no. I just drive with... I drive whatever they give me. Road work ahead. Uh-oh. There's a job here. I love how big the game feels out here. Like everything is like really big and flat. I like the Kenworth W900. Do you? Um, I guess. Is that in the game? <laughs> I literally, I don't know really that much about semis, but I do enjoy playing uh, the semi, you know, American Truck Simulator. <sighs> I'm really getting a feeling that we're going to nod off here soon. So I probably shouldn't go too fast. Kind of too bad we can't park and stop or stop and park in here and rest. Uh oh. This is going to be a tight one. That's what she said. How much longer do we have to go till we're out of this? Okay. All right, good. We're almost done. Um, I hate resting games. Uh, well, I mean, you have to manage your your sleep like you would as a real trucker. So I think it's you know kind of adds that element. Uh, an extra depth to the game that um, it's kind of important for a trucking game. Okay, so we'll basically just drive up to the 
rest area and we'll rest. Actually, I'm going to go straight through, and then we are going to, we'll just go over to one of these lots, maybe up here, I don't know, we'll see. Because I don't want to pull off here and not get this map discovery. What are we up to now? <gasps> Almost 61%. Have I ever seen somebody on American Truck Simulator go flying? What do you mean by go flying? <sighs> if I have, I haven't recently. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh no, oh, this is, oh gosh, and no damage, yay, just like in real life, <laughs> I'd be dead, and there's nothing good about that. All right, so we've pushed the sleep off till 7.05 p.m., at least... silage bunkers or something might not be silage might just be like dirt oh no yeah we better get parked up here Okay, hey, this is going to be interesting. Shoot, this is going to suck. It didn't suck quite as bad as I thought it was going to, but still. Ugh. All right. Boom. So we should go at least. Oh, yes. Perfect. 
slept all through the night, got up just in time for morning. Georgia has leveled up. Emma Watson brought in $5,400. Martina has brought in $3,600. And she has also leveled up. We could actually go all the way around the clover leaf here. <laughs> but we won't. Leonardiv Maxim. I have no idea what he just said, but welcome aboard. Could you sponsor 50 cents? The, the channel sponsors don't work that way. It's $4.99 a month. So, you know, it'd be like less than 50 cents a day. I could be like, you know, the starving, you know, child. You know, that you always, I don't know. Do they still run those commercials on TV anymore? For, for less than a cup of coffee. You can ensure that Brad M73 goes to bed every night with a full stomach. We actually can go. Hey guys, let's do it. Yeah, there it goes. south, I think. You guys getting dizzy yet? Okay. And off we go. So we got probably 0.001% map discovery there. Uh, you would be a little... Oh, no. <laughs> Four hundred and twenty miles. So we'll definitely get there today, like in game day today. The beast is going to bed. What? Well, good night, beast. Have a good one. 
Out of all my friends and family that have tasted my chili, think I should enter a chili cook-off contest. <laughs> I make pretty good chili, too. I don't know if it's that good, but... I seem to like it. Is this Klamath Falls? Oh, okay. I'm kind of surprised there's not like a road going from Medford to Klamath Falls. I'm pretty sure there are. <clears throat> pretty sure there are. Kansas says, hey, Brad, I'm just dropping in. Have family in town. Oh, well, thank you for dropping in. For still being winter, I haven't had chili since November. I just made some chili. I'm trying to think of how many. I think I made like two pots, of, like two crock pots of chili. But the thing is, is like, you know, when you, when you, when I make a crock pot of chili, it's, it's like not me eating nothing but chili for like four days. Should be getting pretty close to the Oregon border since here's Holbrook. Hornbrook. Was I saying Holbrook the whole time? I think I was. Uh, see, Southern says my mom's chili has won her works chili contest every single year I think the the most important thing with chili is don't like don't overdo it I think some people put like like they put all kinds of crazy stuff in their chili and it ends up like they end up overdoing it I think if you make you know if you cook your beef with if you cook your onions So, see, like, typically how I do mine is I'll take a whole onion, just like a either a white onion or, like, like one of those gold onions. It's kind of like a – they're generally a little bit sweeter. And I'll cook the I'll, – I'll basically, like, you know, cut it up. I'll pull the Gordon Ramsay, and I'll get out the knife, and I'll cut it into little, you know, onion squares – there's actually a technique to do it that makes it really easy. Um, so anyway, I'll do that, and then I take all my onion bits. Oh, here we go. Going into Oregon. So at least we can speed up a little bit to 65. 64, really. Bam, right there. Oh, man. South Medford. What the heck is going on here? I 
got to go back this way. Okay. There's cows up there. I don't even see a fence. Do I use manual? Oh, heck no. We'd be here for days if that if I did that. Okay, there's the rest stop exploration. Oh good, at least it gives us the exploration for out on the highway too for doing this. I've actually never entered a chili cook-off. I'd be too afraid I would lose. <laughs> and then I'd feel really bad. Hey, we just got a new subscriber. Let's see. Amazing Gamer to subscribe. Thank you so much for subscribing, Amazing Gamer. I appreciate it. Hey, my name is This is actually probably one of my longest, I think this is the longest um, delivery I've had so far, 1,100 1, miles. Gosh, that's, that's no, that's nothing to, that's nothing to bulk at. Let's see, I thought I might help you out. Well, I can always use the help. <laughs> Let's see here. Eureka, Coos Bay, one mile. Hey, you leave my Coos alone. All right, let's see here. Pretty sure, yeah, we've pretty much gone all up through here, though there are some areas, it looks like, um, <clears throat> around Newport where we can get some um, extra discovery. So we'll, we'll just worry about that when we get there, I guess. Nine forty six seven in the morning.
Now there's one of the things that, that this, like the Oregon map kind of reminds me of is like, like when I was a kid and I mean like a little kid, um, you know, this is back before seat belts were mandatory. Matter of fact, my dad, um, I don't even think his van had seat belts. He had this Dodge van, like a conversion van that we used to go on like road trips. We went, you know, down to Florida and up along the East Coast, which I don't really remember too much about that. We, you know, we'd go down into Tennessee and places. And I mean, maybe it's maybe it's just the perspective that a little kid has on the world in general. But it's like I can remember being outside and playing in the woods and. I don't know. The world just seemed like it was a like a more wild place back then, you know, compared to today. And I could be wrong. I don't know. Maybe I need to go on more road trips. But one thing that this Oregon map kind of does is it, at times, not all the time, but at times it kind of reminds me of some of those road trips, even though I've never been out to Oregon. I don't think I've ever, no, I've never been to Oregon. Two hundred and one miles left. Whoa. What the heck? Why do I have to pull in again? That is a load of carp. Now is that the, oh that's the highway right there. What the heck dude? What a poop nougat. J Max says, hey Brad, my dad died so I came to be cheered up. I'm really sorry, dude. I definitely know how you feel. And, you know, I, I don't know. There's, there's kind of just no words. There are just no words. But my thoughts and prayers are with you, and uh, hopefully you'll get through it, as I know you will. All right, 167 miles to go. Wait. 
I see some map this some map discoveriness. Uh oh. We're gonna have to take this route like back down to San Diego to get all the little you know, extra road bits that we keep missing. Robox Player Pro, hello! See, earlier I had a load from Portland, Oregon to Las Cruces, New Mexico. That is a pretty long load. The sim, uh, Sid says, I found it. What did you find? <laughs> Hello from Maritus. Marit, Maritius? Maritius? I'm butchering that name, I know. Oh, man. No magic, just science. Wait, isn't there? No, I think I'm thinking of a different place. Found a steam, steam achievement. What was it? Uh, what truck am I using? I'm using the high end Volvo. What is it, like the 580 or something like that? I don't know those things. I can't drive Swifty 5. 98 miles, oh, thank gosh. Oh, great. Please help me. I lost Euro Truck Simulator in my Steam library. How do you lose? I mean, if it's in your Steam library, it doesn't go away. Ever. I don't know how you... Uh... Steam said it was not in my library the whole time. Well, that's weird. Then how did you play it? Or did you play it? <laughs> Were you signed in as somebody else or something?
Oh, there's the airport. And they still haven't fixed the numbers. What am I going to play Euro Truck Sim 2? Ah, who knows? One of them days when I get around to it. Ooh, it just got super bright out. In the game, of course. I mean, a game just can't disappear from your Steam library. So you had to be, you had to have been signed in to like a different Steam account or something. <laughs> That's the only thing I could suggest. Do you have any brothers or sisters or parents that also use Steam that would have been signed on onto your computer? Because that's the only thing I could think of. Bangers and Crash, good evening, hello, good morning actually. It is 2.17 a.m. here. Thirty-five miles to go. Thirty-five. Okay. Um, let's see, trust me, I only have one account. My brother is too old to play Steam. Your brother is... Nobody's too old to play Steam or to have a Steam account. <laughs> it just wants me to buy it again. My brother is suggesting to crack it and get a free version. Um, yeah, but you won't be able to load it on Steam or do mods or anything like that. Dude, just like wait till it's on sale. It's dirt freaking cheap when it's on sale. Like if if you get Emer you can probably get when Euro Truck Simulator 2 is on sale. They put like all their DLCs into like one huge package and it's like dirt cheap. A tarastamia. with this truck just sitting in the middle of the road. What is he doing? Very weird. You go you go to bed.
Why did the speed limit just go up to 55 and then down to 35? That's weird. You're in England. What if it's a different price? Um, well, I mean, it's going to be in British pounds and not U.S. dollars. But it's still dirt cheap, trust me. Oh, we get we get to drive under the bridge, I guess. I guess that is that the ocean out there, I guess. the whoops can't turn left if I wanted to um, wait oh, we got 16 hours to get there we should have like a delivery del oh gosh delivered on time delivery bonus or something Oh, that bridge looks awesome. So are we going into this wall bird or what is it? Coast Aquarium. Oh, there it is. There's it's the lake right there. like, hello, where the Winnebago's come to die. <laughs> it totally looks like a Winnebago graveyard. Okay. Where do you need it? All right. Oh, gosh. totally script oh man I think we I think I got by without scraping my beautiful new trailer on the side of the building maybe I don't know I don't know I don't
engine is off. Unloading the trailer. <laughs> Distance driven, 1,309 miles. <gasps> we got to a new level. I am a professional. Current job offers. All right. Ooh, gases. Oh, we can already do gases. Fart gases. Newport Orkin to Phoenix as. Well, that just about goes down the same way we came. But there is no way we are doing this tonight. Look at the bridge, though. That looks very nice. Very, very nice. There's one thing I kind of do wish, though. It's that we could pan our view around a little bit. Um, let's just go and do... There's a, a couple little spots here. Um, I'm just going to... I think I'm just going to drop, like, go up. No, no, I can't go that way. I go out this way. Bam. No. If I go this way... And then we turn back around, and then maybe we'll <clears throat> stop at the little wrench guy thing. Hey, do you play Fortnite? God, no. Absolutely not. Why? Because it's like, it just does not look like my kind of game. I don't want to insult anybody, but uh, yeah, it's so, so I'll just say that it's not my kind of game. It's like, what's that other game that's kind of like, I, I say it's kind of like Fortnite, but it's got like the different class. Is it Destiny or something like that? There's like another one of those shooter games. And um, <clears throat> I don't I don't know if it's Destiny. I don't know what it's called. But like, I don't know, it was like a year ago. Somebody got, no, it's not Apex. I don't, I don't know what Apex is either. Um, no, it, somebody like legit, like got legit mad at me because I didn't like the game that they played. But no, I, I don't play Fortnite. I, I said that, you know, if somebody ever donated like two thousand dollars i'd play fortnite for a week like live stream it for a week but um so far that hasn't happened i'd probably lose all of my subscribers <laughs> Oh, we are busting the speed limit here. So, okay, so the Oregon Coast Aquarium is this way. I wonder if we actually get to pass it and see it. 
because I don't think that's it right there. Because it's just like a lake, you know. Play America Truck Sim online? No. No, the, the reason why I don't play it online is because people will, will then seek you out and then, like, just ram into you and think it's funny. And I don't think it's very funny. I flop restaurant. Really? That doesn't really look like... Oh, maybe there's an IHOP in the aquarium. Is that the aquarium? It, I guess it is, kind of looks like an aquarium. Aquarium vi Village Specialty Shops. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Haha, -ha, I made the light. Oh, gosh. Oh, like a bouse. Like a bouse. Oh, and it's like the old school garage. Nice. We're just gonna we're gonna block their business here. No, it goes forward. Now, here's the next thing, service. Okay. So it does the truck and the trailer, that's good. Uh, hire a driver. Oh, yeah, Sabrina. Oh, she's very nice. And we have Freya, and she's very nice too. Yeah. And then we have <laughs> we have Donald T Donald T. Because it could it possibly be Donald Trump? Doesn't look like him. I, I don't know why I'm, I'm speaking like this. We have Millie R. And Madison G. And Stephanie. She's very bright red-headed. And Joseph B. Uh, I don't think we're going to hire anybody right now. <laughs> Actually... Did I ever... No, I guess all my drivers have... Trucks. So, okay, she's got my Kenworth W900. She's got the just generic Peterbilt. We got two generic Peterbilts there. Okay. Okie dokie. Well, guys, I think that is going to be it for me tonight. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me. Uh, big th thanks to Chill Vibes for his super chat tonight. Thank you very much, Chill. <clears throat> um, be sure to hit that like button for me one last time before you leave tonight. Um, leave a comment when the video goes live. And if you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button and enable notifications. So you'll be subscribed and you'll get notified whenever I go live or post new video content. This has been American Truck Simulator. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much again. I will see you all very, very soon. I'm Brad M73. Bye for now.